Oh yeah, what's the deal, everybody? <clears throat> I say, I say, passe, passe, passe. Welcome to the broadcast. How everybody is doing today? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe in that order. It is definitely going down. I just want to uh, teach you, give a real quick, really fast introduction on how to summon Clonique. Okay, uh, what I like to do is uh, I use the mantra of um because um is uh has a lot of uh vibrations and frequencies and a lot of history behind that mantra um that is also the third eye so when you want to summon the spirit or you want to summon a particular spirit you always want to start off with a chant a sound because the chant and the sound is what they used in egyptian days and before comedic days where they was a Oh um, um, So the first and most important thing that you want to do before summoning any spirit, unless they are a spirit that is in your circle that agree with what you're doing, because a lot of spirits don't agree with what everybody's each person has different kind of energy, different kind of spirits they bring with them. And a lot of those energy and those spirits don't intertwine with other spirits that well, okay? And it can cause a lot of chaos and confusion. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you sage the area first, have a quiet environment, a quiet space where you have no distractions, okay? Or if you have in a circle, you want to make sure that you have three people who are in agreement of what, what it is that you're doing. And then, all right. So, uh, I'm going to also use the energy of uh, Red Sage here. Because Red Sage uh, brings, energy, uh, brings the energy towards you. Uh, regular Sage clears the area towards you. Okay. And also, you can use this for money spells. It works, Connie, really does work really well with Mammon and Lucifer for money, okay? All right, and another entity that we're going to uh, use is Tasa Alaroth or an Astaroth. We'll use Astaroth as well, okay? Because Astaroth is the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, what we call the uh, Secretary of Finance in uh, the Abyss, okay? Under the Fallen angels order okay all right so we're gonna say um the reason why you want to say um is also because it was raising your vibration frequency by sound high enough to uh for that energy specific energy of spirit to hear you and feel your and, and to see your frequency hear your frequency okay Everything works off of sound and frequency. So we're going to say, also, just so you know, I do have a sigil. Okay, not the best artist in the world, but this is Clonique Sigil. You want to have the sigil in front of you to be able to visualize it, okay? And if you don't have any sage, it just helps. But if you don't have any sage, that does not mean you cannot invoke a spirit. You can invoke a spirit. A spirit is... In the old days, in revolution, Haitian revolution days, and back in the gap, Salem witch child areas, they did not use, they didn't have candles, and they didn't have all this other stuff available that you see we use now. Only thing they could do is make sacrifices and chants. So chants are very important to summoning spirits. That's why you have to be careful about what music you listen to and the different type of sounds that you put in your head. Because you are summoning that spirit, okay? And unless you want that spirit around, I suggest you not just be bopping your head to any type of music, okay? Because uh, also they have subliminal messages as well. All right, so we're going to say, um, it's also very important that you practice your breathing. Inhale. Exhale.
It is very important that you recognize Lucifer before working with any spirit, okay, because ultimately Lucifer is the Lord of Lords of all spirits. So you want to say, Rini Sasa Uparaka Biasa Ikar Lucifer. Rini Sasa Uparaka Biasa Ikar Lucifer. Rini Sasa Uparaka Biasa Ikar Lucifer. All right, after that, it's very important that you ask Lucifer to help you have the assistance of Klanik. Okay, ask, you cannot request, you cannot request an order from a fallen angel or a spirit without respecting and honoring the king of those spirits, the lord of those spirits, which is Lucifer. All right. So this is why a lot of people also have trouble and chaos, okay? And poverty is a sin. So we're telling you, teaching you how to be successful in this world without having attacked of poverty, without being attacked of poverty, okay? So once you visualize the sigil in your mind and you are able to see it when your eyes are closed, the more you say, um, it's building that relationship. The reason why you close your eyes when you're doing this is because you want to activate your third eye. And the only reason how the third eye is activated is by saying, um, so you want to put your hands together like this. Come on, everybody, if you got what it takes, all right? So you say, um, Avalin Essen Klanik Kia Hella, exhala. Inhala, So that's how you will summon a spirit. And the more you do it, the more you build a relationship, the more you feel the energy of that spirit. When you practice its uh, chakras and mantras, it will help you to feel that frequency. And when you're able to feel that frequency, you're able to feel that spirit. Okay? So it's the same way as invoking the Holy Spirit. All right? When I say, Lord and Father, I ask you, same way. We say, Lord, Lucifer, Lord, Lucifer, Lord, Lucifer. I ask that you help me to invoke the spirit of Klanik so that my clientele for my business or my negocios can mucho rapido, and mucho dinero and mucho rapido. Okay, mucho negocios. Okay, let's trabajar, let's trabajar, let's trabajar, mucho negocios. Okay, yo soy mucho negocios. Está el diablo, está el... 
Um... So when you get it done with that, it's very important that you close it out. Ave Lucifer. This is the Magical Magician, baby. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Poof.